I'm pleased to say a few words about the historic Botticelli show at the Muscarelli Museum of Art at the College of William and Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia. My name is John Spike. I'm the chief curator here at the Muscarelli, and it was my responsibility to select, curate, and catalog this exhibition. This painting, by rights, can be considered the most beautiful painting in the show. It is one of the most treasured and precious Madonnas by Botticelli. The painting is painted in precious materials. Her robe is of the blue lapis lazuli, a semi-precious stone. The color green in it is of malachite. But most remarkably, and unlike any other known painting by Botticelli, all over it, there are uh, applications of pure gold, pure gold highlights. I am here uh, in between uh, two uh, works that are amongst his uh, last works uh, during the lifetime of Leonardo, and they are both dedicated to the beauty of the human body. One is uh, this Venus uh, next to me, which is a uh, perfect uh, replica of the Venus as she appears in his famous painting, The Birth of Venus. The other uh, object uh, I direct your attention to is this beautiful shaped crucifix painted by Botticelli, but it is, again, the epitome of male beauty. Christ is seen completely untroubled uh, by the trauma of the passion because, after all, he is God. The uh, last room of the exhibition uh, culminates with uh, a display of his uh, late last style. They're not uh, beautiful in the conventional idealistic uh, sense. Uh, in fact, they look deliberately medieval. Uh, the way the figures are crammed into the rectangle here, uh, the, our lady could not stand up without hitting her head on the top of the frame. The forms are deliberately quite flat like a medieval uh, manuscript uh, illumination. And yet it is immensely touching. And there's uh, a deeper level that makes it uh, still more moving. The title, Botticelli and the Search for the Divine, uh, is meant to cover this extraordinary personal transformation for Botticelli. In the service of the Medici, he painted the uh, classical mythologies in all their glory and uh, idealized beauty. And then, uh, after the death of Lorenzo the Magnifico and the tumult in the city of Florence, when all those uh, classical ideas were temporarily overthrown, he had to move from a different idea of divine beauty to concentrate on the depth and beauty of the story of the passion.